Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we are gonna take a quick look at Disney. The stock ended 4.17% down today. We can see a huge, huge dip around two o'clock. So in today's episode, we're gonna take a quick look at what's happening in the house of mouse and what are my current thoughts on the company. If this is your first time here, guys, make sure to hit the thumbs up, make sure to hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Uh, so Disney right now sitting at $171. We can see a market cap of $311 billion. From its 52 week high, the stock is down roughly 15.22%, right? COVID has definitely affected Disney in both, I want to say the good and the bad. First, let's start off with the good. With the good, it allowed Disney to really see huge growth in their Disney Plus platform, their subscription service, uh, which has created a good, good market for Disney. The, the bad though is Disney provide, needs a lot of, gets a lot of revenue from parks from cruises and from other life experiences and during the uh during the whole covid closure right that took a huge impact in this company's revenue if we take a quick look when it peaked its revenue and this is trailing 12 months revenue when it peaked its revenue in march uh the quarter ending march 31st of 2020 that's right before um, covid kind of started uh, we can see this is where it peaked revenue and every quarter since then, it kind of saw a downtick until its most recent quarter. And again, this is trailing 12 months where it started to kind of it seemed to bounce back off its bottom. So Disney has definitely taken a, quite an impact um, due to COVID. If we take a look at trailing 12 months operating cash flow margins, they've also seen a kind of an impact right now sitting in mid single digits when taking a look at trailing 12 months for its most recent earnings. Uh, so, right. This is the quick overview of what's happening with this name but let's try to understand why the stock price is down uh so today the ceo of disney had a virtual q a session with goldman sachs uh, for the 30th annual communicado conference where they kind of explain a little bit more about their future investments and where the company is heading and uh there were some articles there or some answers that investors did not seem to like uh, but before we take a quick look at those answers let's take a quick look at today's sponsor a great reason why i'm able to provide so much content to you guys for free I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You guys know I love finding new investing tools and resources to help me scout out new growth stocks. And right now I have a discount for one of my favorite services The Fool offers. Through The Motley Fool Stock Advisor Services, you get access to a ton of expert stock picks. Every month you'll get two new picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals. Stock Advisors average stock picks have done amazing returns if growing your money is something you like to do more of this year you can visit fool.com slash jose naharo or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if the stock advisor is right for you thanks again to the motley fool and now on to today's video all right so let's take a quick look at this article that kind of does a nice brief overview of what happened during the uh um during this q a session so first disney stock is falling after the ceo warned of slower growth for disney plus uh so disney is did come out and said that due to COVID situations due to COVID situations and the delta variant there are seeing some delay in productions for uh, for the upcoming quarters and that's a huge big deal uh, that's a huge deal right because disney has disney plus so they need to make sure to keep content constantly in, in the wheel uh making sure that they release new contents and in their movie platforms as well right in movies worldwide uh so it's kind of creating a bit of a slowdown that kind of a slowdown is fearing investors hey if you're having a slowdown in content maybe less people are going to subscribe to your platform and if they are already subscribed it's more likely that they will leave and that is creating i want to say a good amount of fear in investors right now the other thing uh, that they mention is a lot of the production due to COVID last year and, and the previous quarters uh, in, for example, in India, they used to have in their streaming service, the Indian Premier League, uh, which is a cricket season. Uh, but because last year there was no cricket season, there was a, a slowdown in streaming content for the in the, for the India uh, country, right? For the India platform. And this is happening worldwide. Uh, stuff in Latin America have also been postponed due to COVID previous situations, uh, which has kind of slowed down the growth. 
and this is where i believe the biggest fear is coming from investors uh right now disney plus is expected for this upcoming quarter to grow in the low single digit millions uh and this is compared to the previous estimate by wall street which were about 17 million additional subscribers and right so going from a few low digit million uh subscribers compared to the 17 million uh expected that's a whole lot of revenue that disney is not gonna miss uh it's not gonna get so they might miss on some expected revenue due to that shortage i, I want to say main reason the stock price is down 4.2 percent uh and, and this is what we've seen right we've definitely seen some other streaming services taking a big hit because of this slowdown last year was a great year for them they got a lot a lot of numbers numbers and this year they're kind of missing those previous guided numbers uh so walt disney i want to say definitely um want to keep an eye out right now i do own shares of disney and this company at the moment is still going to maintain uh reinvesting in the business that's where they're looking for paying down debt and eventually eventually at the moment go back into some form of dividends and share buybacks but at the moment they really want to focus in the growth of their business and i think that's a smart smart move uh, i do want to take a quick look at the charge for disney i like i said technicals is the last thing i'm more of a fundamental type of guy I, I i definitely see the growth of disney from theme parks as the world opens back up and their disney plus platform even though it's seeing a slow growth right now in this quarter i believe it's more of just um a rubber band effect due to last year uh, and things will pick up because the content they are producing there is super super strong in my opinion uh, maybe i might be biased because i am a huge star wars fan and also a, a decent marvels fan uh, so the content they are providing there and the quality is great um, in forms of stock price right now the stock i do want to say is sitting at very attractive levels if i really wanted to build a position in disney this would be the time uh, a little bit more than dollar cost averaging at these levels um, but the market can continue to be very volatile so stock prices can continue to go down for me disney no intentions of selling might be looking for next week if it stays at these levels for adding on um but not for this week this week i already have my stocks and i did my video uh, i'll probably share the link below on the on the stocks i'm looking for this week but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode take care have a good day and see you next time